Well, the Wildlife Restoration Act was established or passed into law in 1937. And since then, it has provided a stable source of funding for the conservation and restoration of fish and wildlife resources in the United States. It is the one factor that has contributed to the quality of the natural resources and the wildlife that we have today because of the foresight of manufacturers paying the excise tax first on farms and ammunition back in the 30s and later on archery equipment. The manufacturers are, are quite important to the American system of conservation. When I see the, the products being built, I, I see what is really the, the currency of conservation. The, those items that are taxed through Pittman-Robertson are the driver for conservation in the United States. The work that we're able to do on the ground wouldn't be possible without these funds. Uh, in Utah specifically, we over the last five years, we've averaged $15 million annually in wildlife restoration funds. You can imagine the amount of work that we're able to get done with that. And without that money, it would be extremely difficult to get those things done. Just recently, sport fish and wildlife restoration funds were used here in Utah to acquire a wildlife management area up in northern Utah on the borders of Cache and Weber County. It's called the Cinnamon Creek Wildlife Management Area. So it's now public property where the public can hunt, uh, camp, and pursue other wildlife management activities. One of the big impediments to getting out and hunting is land access and, you know, is there a game out there to hunt? And I just am grateful that we have funds out there in place that can really allow people not only places to get out there and shoot a bow and hunt, but also that the game is abundant. I think if you look at Easton's history when they first started uh, collecting that excise tax for us, we uh, were at the front of the line realizing that this could benefit an industry that we support uh, and that those dollars would be used for good purposes throughout the state, throughout the, the country, to be able to preserve hunting and, and a way of life. The thing I'm the most proud of is working for the Easton family. They've given so much back to the sport over the years. I love working in the outdoor industry and making and building products that I enjoy using and that bring people together. It's important for our agencies to experience these events because it builds relationships and opens up communications between our agencies and our partners and helps us um, understand that we all are on the same team and have the same mission. Having this event here today has been really eye-opening for me. I've been able to learn a lot more about where our excise tax dollars go from us as a company, really to provide more opportunity for everybody that enjoys archery. I'd just like to thank the manufacturers for their efforts and the partnership that's been that's been developed through the wildlife restoration program. The funds they provide um, help us manage wildlife and we couldn't do our work without them. 